Oh, so Ruddy. Chris, what's happening? I'm getting used to this cold weather. <laughs> here for a while, I have to get used to this cold weather. It's... It is quite cold. I was just looking at our YouTube page, how amazing it looks. But uh, everybody wants to know from the main man, just how does the scholarship process actually work? How all the process works? I guess you want me to explain it, right? Yes, I want you to explain it. George, George, one thing you guys got to learn about George is whenever I'm with him, he makes me do tons of videos. So, Many videos. Oh, uh, come on now, since we're here, let's do it. Okay, so... It's a uh, whiteboard though, right? It'd be easier. You have to stand up there. You have to stand up, George. You want me to stand up, okay. What angle do you like? This angle? Now, the angle where the people can see what we're writing on the board. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, it's a really simple process, guys. Isn't it? This is, the problem is people do the wrong steps, and that's when it becomes more difficult. Mm. Probably, you know, step, maybe, yeah. Which way do you want to start? So you can see what we're doing. So, the first thing that a lot of people do wrong is they. Um, they, 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 they this is what, uh, actually, let me draw the, 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 the process out. You'll see, because what a lot of people do is they skip the main steps. So, the first steps you're going to do is, is basically have a consultation call, right? A consultation, I can't speak, it's been a long day. Consultation, consultation call. Consultation. 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 Good, good work. So what we mean by this is first we want to make sure that you are, you can see that okay, yeah? Yeah, I can yeah. just come. So closer. the first thing we want to do, and this is number one, is we want to make sure that you are a good recruit. So basically, you know, 100% you want to do this, right? And then if that's good, we're going to go to number two. And this is the most important thing, is an assessment. So we're going to do an assessment uh, about a base report. And this is new. We, we started doing these because what we get is like a lot of students uh, who contact us. And they ask us a question. What scholarship can I get? What university can I go to? Uh, these are the two major things. Or how much will this cost me down the road? And a lot of times it, it, we're using kind of like previous athletes we've helped and also our experience from 10 years of doing this to give you a really good idea. But that is not you exactly. Every athlete is different. Just because I've placed thousands of athletes like you doesn't mean you're gonna be the same. You will have different requirements. You'll want to study different things. You might want to be in a different location. Mm -hmm. So the assessment, th this is really important because this is where we're gonna build out. Like we're gonna look at universities, we're gonna put uni, we're gonna look at scholarships what scholarships you can get. Um, we're gonna look at financial, making sure that, you know, I've got a dollar sign. Financials, that you can afford this, because just if you get a full right scholarship, there's other costs that go into it. We're gonna look at academics. Uh, let's say you wanna go to the Ivy League schools, what grades you need to have. We're also gonna look at your sport, and not, not just Ivy, but SATs, right? Yeah. SAT schools that you need. We'll look at your sport level, how good you are. And then we're gonna build you a timeline. So based on your age, I mean, I met a guy, uh, an athlete yesterday, no, yesterday, two days ago, um, he's super late, right? If he's watching this, he probably knows who he is, because <laughs> he came to office here today. Um, and he's really late person. Now, luckily, I can still get him out to the US, but he's, he's not going to have the, all the options like most athletes would have. Right. So if you're younger, if you're like, for me, if you're like 13 slash 14, this is like a really good age to start, because we can build an effective timeline out for you. 15 is okay, 16 is okay, but getting older and that gets harder. It's still possible we just left less options. So that assessment report then is pretty personalized, huh? It's yeah, not like is, one this, feet tall. This is, no, because, so here, like what a lot of people do in this section, phase one, a lot of agencies will just give you like a general idea what they can do for you. And that's, that's fair. Like we used to do that too, but the assessment report is new. We, we started introducing this the last couple of months. Hmm. And it's because this will give you, your, this will tell you what universities you go to, what scholarships you can get what financial aid you can get, what your academics need to be, how good an athlete you need to be, are you good enough right now? And then from that, we can build your time and report, and then we're gonna give you a score, okay? And that's gonna be a recruitable score. It's gonna be from zero to 100. And basically, if you, all the universities we get, we're gonna look about 30 schools normally. And then from that, we're gonna give you anything like between 80 to 100, that means you'll get into those schools. We call these safety options. Hmm. If you're, so that's like, that's 80 to 100, right? And then if you're 80 down to 50, this means you can get in, but it'll be a bit of work. If you're less than 50 to zero, you've got a lot to do, right? So the more time you have to do that, the higher chance you can turn this around and get in. I keep right. dropping all these pens, man. Okay. Had too much espresso. <laughs> all right, so once you've got that assessment report, no, these pens on all that. Once you've got that assessment report, we can then move to stage three, because here you can decide, uh, do you want to go? 
right? Because now you know for sure these are schools I've got a very high chance to get into. Does that make sense to you? Or maybe it doesn't make sense and you shouldn't do this, right? So there's no point progressing to stage three if this is bad information. If it's good and it makes sense for you and, you, and that's what you want to do, then we could go here. So that basically then becomes starting your game plan. George, we really have to get some better pens. Better pens. <laughs> so game plans. So that's going to then is activating your timeline. So that's going to be the first stage of that. It's going to be building a profile, your video. Yeah, that's where the fun starts. The fun starts, man. Um, looking at your schedule, your tournaments. So tournaments, you're playing and make sure you're playing the right stuff. And your education, academics. So we know what your academics you're doing, your SAT planning. Um, doing your clearing house, right? There's a lot of a, a lot, lot of things, things going into this. I mean, it's we make it way. sound quite make simple. Sound easy, we but entertain there, there people, but there is a lot. All right, and, and there's then, a so, lot happening so that, behind so closed doors. So that's going to take you anywhere from say six to to six months to a year, depending on their age and like what the client have now. That's being condensed into like two three weeks. But he's what I call. If you see on my other videos. He's what I call like he's in the danger zone, so we just have to go as fast as we can. Hmm. So, but normally you want six months a year to do this effectively, and then from this you're going to go to stage four, which is a scholarship phase, right? This is where you do scholarship marketing, college recruitment phase. This is all the preparation and the game planning phase. So, and obviously you, you start this. This kind of overlaps. Like you're going to start this around the middle, around they say three months into it. So, uh, three months, six months into it here, you're going to start this. But you need to start, they overlap. It's been a long day. Guys. No, it makes sense. They overlap, right? So, but you can't start some of this unless you've got some of this done. So here's where we're going to then start targeting the universities. We'll put uni for universities um, that you, you, do, you discover here in the, in the game, in, sorry, in the assessment report. So we, 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 we discover which universities you qualify for, and then we're going to get some information ready for them and message them. Say, hey, coach, are you interested in our athlete? We did an assessment report. We saw they've qualified for your program. And then they're going to want to speak to you, so that then leads to an interview. And then from an interview, you might then have a visit to the university. You go and visit the program, and then you're going to get to the NLI, the National Letter of Intent. That's the scholarship where you sign and get the contract, right? So here's the problem. What most people do they're here, right? Let's just put A for an athlete. They're an athlete. They just bypass all of this and they go right to here and they email the coach and say, hey coach, are you interested in recruiting me? I'm from Czech Republic. I'm a golfer of plus two and I'd like to get a scholarship. And the coach has no idea who you are. You haven't done any of this planning. You haven't identified what kind of scholarships you get. Even if that school offers scholarships, a lot of schools don't offer scholarships. Hmm. So that's that's what most people do. They don't they don't do any of this. They just go straight there, and that's why it fails a lot of times, right? We need the plan, huh? We need so, the recipe for success, right? So then, if that goes well, and you, once you've done your scholarship process and you got accepted, then you got to do five, which is basically uh, pre pre college planning. And that's going to be your visa, if you're not American, right? If you're American, then you do your visa. Your health insurance, insurance, and then you're going to do your flights as well, get your flights ready. So visa, health insurance, and flights, get that all scheduled, all right? And then if, you, if you're with us, we're going to give you support. Don't forget on this part, all uh, the moms watching, dads watching, preparing them for yeah. the departure. So, I'm going to leave that pen on the floor. <laughs> so, so that's support. So then we look after you in college. Anything you need, we're to help you. And also that then leads to going pro and getting a job, right? So that's four years of support. And we're trying to see where you can go. Will you go be a professional athlete? Who could we connect you with? Or are you going to get a job? Which companies could we help you get a job to? So that's, that's the process, right? And the big problem is a lot of people bypass that process and then try just go knock on the door. Like, it's like, think about it. If you were going to the doctors, right? You, you've hurt your arm. And instead of like instead of going to a doctor and saying, hey doctor, can you can you see what's wrong with me? You've got a rough idea, your arm's hurting. Well that's the assessment. The doctor's doing his assessment, seeing what's wrong with your arm, and he's, he's thinking what would be the best solution, and he gives your medicine as a scholarship, right? He gives you medicine and your scholarship and you get better. So you wouldn't break your arm, assume you know best, and then go to like, you know, a medical store and say, Can I have this drug to help my arm get better? That, that's what you're doing. You're just bypassing a doctor who can qualify you, give you all the right information, build your report, what should happen, who you should contact. You just, think, you just assume you know and bypass it and say, give me the medicine, give me the scholarship. Right? And, and you've got to have a process system. This is why we're so good at what we do. 
This is why when athletes come to us who try to do things themselves and fail, they're like, aha, I didn't do that. That makes sense now, right? And, and there's more to it. I'm giving you like the, the, the basics. <laughs> yeah, this because it would be too complicated if we gave you everything. We're giving you the, 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 the fundamental basics. Very good. In each stage, there's more things that go into making it really, especially if you want a, a Division One school, like a top 50 Division One school, like a UCLA or a Stanford, like your education here, SATs, academics, they have to be a certain point. Otherwise, you don't get in. Golf, you have to do certain things. Soccer, rugby, all sorts. You have to do minimum standards. So, guys, I hope that helps. Very good. I Very good. This coffee, man. Impressive. Impressive. You're in the office, though, which is cool. Yeah, so office amazing. Office. I like it. It's cool. It's good. All right. They're going to have a Halloween party now, I think. <laughs> yes, they will. Get ready for it. Yeah, let's go get something. Cool. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. If you've enjoyed this video, I'm sure George's going to put this on YouTube. So, yes. please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for plenty more videos to come. Bye. Take care.